This is a downwing caddis from Ed Story's book, Missouri Trout Flies, How to Tie and Fish Them. Well, it's not really a book so much as it is a handout that he made for his fly tying classes. It is a dry fly. I'm tying it on a number 14 dry fly hook, but 14 is the largest in the recipe, so tie it down to whatever you want in 18. I am using tan thread, but you could use olive or brown. The body is dubbing. I'm using possum, but any dubbing that works for a dry fly will work. I'll, again, color is optional. I'm using a light tan, but you could use a light olive or a dark olive or a darker tan. Just depending on what you want to match the hatch, I guess we say. So let's try to taper the body and being conscious not to crowd the eye. For the wing, I am using deer. I've got some in my stacker. The size of the wing, I suppose, is going to be determined by what size hook. And I think I've got maybe a little bit more hair here than I want. Pull a little bit out so I have a little bit thinner clump. And sticking out about a third behind. And then being very conscious not to crowd the eye again. And I'm going to wrap up over the dubbing. Try to keep that hair on top of the shank and then create a flat spot where I'm going to tie in the front hackle. Clip out the hair, making sure that I'm keeping that eye clean. And I have this flat spot here where I'm going to tie in the hackle. You could use other fibers for the wing. Just something that floats. Deer, elk, groundhog. For the hackle I am using a cream but you could use other colors as well. And this fly could be tied in black also. Uh, a ginger, a tan, done, uh, but a dry hackle size to the hook. I have clipped the butt end so I have those little barbs and I am tying it with the shiny side towards the hook with a dull side towards me in typical contemporary dry fly fashion. That will cause, as I wrap it, the fibers to stand up and point forward and then how many wraps here really is going to help determine how much this fly floats. I'll put on as many wraps as you think is necessary. Catch that end of the hackle in. I use three wraps to catch in and then I just pull back on everything Try to get all the fibers away from that eye as I wrap up against that butt end. Up over the butt end and start to build a little head. And then I'll pull down on my thread to put some tension, grab that butt end, and give it a little snap. Snap it out. I prefer doing that than cutting it. It gives me a cleaner edge there and then try to get that hackle back away from the eye again when I put a whip finish on it. I'm going to put some penetrating head cement and I use a diluted goop for that. I'll put a recipe for the diluted goop in the description. Stick a needle in my jar, grab a drop, and put it on the head. It's wet right now so it looks a little bit darker, 
but that'll dry clear. And then, just to make sure that my eye is clean, I have a hackle feather that I can push down through that eye, and that pulls through and cleans out the eye. The Downwing Caddis from Ed Story's handout, Missouri Trout Flies, How to Tie and Fish Them.